Can France resist the far right? France is a country in crisis. The middle classes are deeply disgruntled. Anxiety over globalization is rife. There are echoes of this elsewhere in the West, of course, and France's swing to the right is tinged with Trumpism. But specific French ingredients should not be overlooked. Because of its economic weaknesses and lack of reform, France's influence in Europe has waned compared to Germany's. Frustration with this adds to nationalist reflexes. Add to that the trauma left by terrorist attacks, renewed debates about the nation's identity, its values, the place of Islam, and decades of mass unemployment, especially among the young people. It's been all too easy for politicians to designate scapegoats or to hark back to an imaginary idealized past. Nostalgia is a sentiment the new reactionaries pander to, a resurgent traditionalist Christian right which dislikes diversity and has demonstrated in numbers against gay marriage has helped François Fillon win the right-wing primaries. He is slated to become Marine Le Pen's likely challenger in the 2017 presidential election, but she is far from diminished. For the next six months until the election, Le Pen will cultivate her anti-establishment credo, and she will claim to defend the common man against the supposedly Thatcherite policies François Fillon has promised. Parallels with Trump in the US and Farage in the UK are tempting, but Marine Le Pen's party, the Front National, has its historical roots plunged deep into the dark 20th century chapters of the French far right. The stakes could not be higher. Neither France nor Europe could afford a far right presidency. Illiberal forces threatening the EU from the outside would be emboldened. It would be a severe threat to democracy. Powers, after all, concentrated in a French president's hands as in no other Western democracy. And because France is central to the European project, a win for the far right would likely lead to a political unraveling of the continent.